vertical video because we're driving with the phone in the phone holder and it's not very framed vertical video. Uh, we are down, we're not down, we are on our way down to Kerbera. It is 6.15 in the morning. It doesn't look it from the outside, but it is. Uh, first time properly trailering um, with a load on. I've moved some trailers around before, but the law changed in the UK during COVID times that anyone up to a certain date didn't need to pass a trailer test, so that's handy. Um, there was a law like that before, but it was basically anyone in their 50s or so around now uh, had that, and so now they've extended to basically anyone that passed their test. I think it's either 2003 or 2013. Um, basically, anyone except for brand new drivers can drive. But yeah, we're going down to Kerbera. Uh, the Twingo does not run. It had one final uh, protest loading onto the trailer and the clutch line blew off again and there is a lot of uh, gearbox oil, not gearbox oil, brake fluid over the road outside our house. So that'll be fun. Um, we're about to go hit the M6 and we'll stop in a second and check all the straps and everything is all still good. And then we'll pop down the M6 for one or two junctions to the services, get some coffee. And yeah, then we'll trundle down to Kerbera for a day of maybe not driving. Uh, another update from a slightly different position. We're now on the M6 toll. Uh, it's daytime, as you can see. Um, drive's going well. So, two problems with the Twingo. One, the it doesn't really idle well. Um, I think I can drive around that problem. The bigger problem is I can't get it in any gear. And Robbie has put the nagging feeling in the back of my brain that I've put the clutch plate in backwards. Um, so that's a possibility. Um, it could be I just can't bleed that clutch properly and the clip on it is just, it keeps popping out. So it keeps then just unbleeding itself everywhere. Um, could be the slave cylinder in the gearbox is knackered. Um, considering the state of everything else, probably a fair chance of that. And that's on me for not changing that, as well as I had everything apart. Uh, but you live and learn. Uh, I'm going to get there. I'm not expecting to actually drive this car around the track today, but hopefully, between the group of us that are there, we might get it a little bit closer or have a diagnosis of what's wrong and get yeah, to catch up with everyone, see all their cars, pick up some bits and pieces that we're all swapping with each other, and maybe have a go at someone else's car, who knows, or at least hopefully get some passenger journeys in. But yeah, see you then. Right, we are here. Uh, not much progress in getting it running, everyone's getting uh, lined up for tests. Matt's here. Rob's here, uh, Charlie's in the queue, I think AD's next up. Here goes AD and his uh, 320 horsepower Twingo GT. supercharged one Second. 
Right, uh, we're back on the trailer. It's everyone thinks it's probably the clutch plate in backwards, so we ain't going anywhere today. So let's try and find some cars to drive. Right, we're in AD's car. Um, I've driven it all of about five meters, uh, so we'll see how this goes. It's roasting hot here today. Roller decks, what's up there? Young crew. What's it? Crew tube. Crew tube. Yeah. Crew tube. Yeah, go on. Three, three, two, one, go. Can't do John. What's the procedure when it comes back knocking? He it, sold it. Buys it. Yeah, we. That's what's it. Seven and a half grand. It's <laughs> fucking twelve today. He's <laughs> checking mine out there. My tight. Yeah, he's really tight. It's steady, but he just needs to nail it, mate. It's not heavy. It fucking goes on and off. The steering feels dead much. Right, next up in my tour of everyone's cars, we got Charlie supercharged, 200. Uh, so yeah, let's give this one a go. Me didn't hit the GoPro button. That was a riot. Here we got Matt's Turbo Twingo 133. He's very scared that the clutch is going to die, so he won't launch it. Then we got the rest. Danny's RSGT one with his big wing. Smoking again. Stop, Matt. Never a good sign. Over uh, and to get off the track rather than wait for people to push me, I actually tried to bump start it. It did actually work. I got in first gear. Main problem was uh, battery. 
and disconnected themselves because I hadn't actually bothered to um, connect them up because of the day going so badly. So we're going to try again. Of someone who's broken his car. More problem solving. Like a disco in here. Throttle body, motorized throttle body, throttle potentiometer, throttle potentiometer, throttle potentiometer, throttle potentiometer, that's pedal. Pedal. So you've got four pedal faults and two throttle, throttle body faults. Well, we've had the throttle body crashing around. Oh,
that's it for the day. Being out in Charlie's car again. Five seconds faster that lap. Matt's car is broken. Map sensor is dead. And McGann's going around trying to beat Charlie's time. Everyone's swapping cars. Been a good day.